What else, Odin? Did we miss anything? <laughs> what was that? Brr! Was it because of the wind? Did the wind make you give you shivers? Well, it's been a busy week. We had a wonderful Thanksgiving celebrating with all of my children here. And we got to enjoy our very own homegrown turkey. A big thank you to Lee for that. One of the best housewarming gifts we could get, right? Hi. Hi. You boys having fun? Yeah. Yep. We love this thing so. I'm fi uh, I finally actually know uh, how to use it correctly. You just have to put your feet on there. I'm <laughs> doing it better for you. I hope you don't pinch toes. <sighs> we are so blessed with some amazing housewarming gifts. Our friends Kim and Chris gave us some pallets and sheet metal um, along with some other stuff that we're getting to put to use today to help winterize our goat shelter to make it secure for the coming cold weather that we're expecting next week. And then you saw that our friend Sabrina and Kevin brought us these, these roofing sheets are now protecting, yes, I, I know I got to do a few screws and these are just propped up for now so that our quail will have a nice new roof instead of just laying them across and got this area set up pretty cool. We still have all of these wonderful housewarming gifts. We got the best housewarming gifts though, y'all. I mean, what farmer does not want fence posts and fencing material? So we uh, put a big dent in some of this stuff today. We've got the sides all completely surrounded for the buck so that he's nice and protected for the cold storms to come. Today it might be nice and warm and comfortable outside, but in just a couple days we're going to have lows in the 20s. So we've got to winterize our goat shelter. It's hard to believe on a beautiful sunny day like this where I could be t-shirt weather to know that it's going to drop down into the 20s. So we're going to try to get some stuff done for these goats. Something along those lines. We're going to see how it assembles and uh, see what we can do to get it a little more windproof for them. We had the shelter over here, but we noticed that because it was so shady, it was not warming up in the morning fast like the goats like. So they were all leaving the shelter and coming out into this open area. So we have moved the shelter out into the open area so that it can absorb the sun's heat first thing in the morning. So that's step one, location of the shelter being the warmest spot. Step two is to block any wind. So that's what we're going to work on today. Hey, guess what? What? Chicken butt. <laughs> Best share ever, huh, Odie? <laughs> you love it? Yes. You love working with Daddy and Mommy? And the goats? <gasps> you like goats? <laughs> oh, yes, I do. You excited? <laughs> All right, so we've got two pallets on each side. They don't reach the roof, but that's good because that allows some airflow um, so they won't get too congested, but it blocks all the wind down along the bottom so that they have a wind block. We can stuff the pallets with feed bags in the inside for an extra layer of wind and insulation block. What else? We're on a slope. Oh, that's right, yes. So he's got the hill here so that there's a high point in the middle so that water will drain off. If it does get in here at all, it'll drain off of where they like to sleep. What else? Oh, the roof. We made sure, whoa, don't hurt yourself. We'll get those attached here real soon. We've made sure that the slope of the roof goes down and that the roofing shingles are 
appropriate lined up so that the water goes out and not in. If it was facing the other way, it would come in. We've got a direct line to our bedroom windows so that we can look out and see them. What else, Odin? Did we miss anything? Huh? <laughs> what was that? Brr. Is it because of the wind? Did the wind make you give you shivers? Even though it's warm? You're excited. You want to go ride a, ho ride a horse? I mean, ride a goat? No. What? I'll ride a dada. What day it is? You want the baby? You love the baby. <laughs> you can't have him. Awesome. Oh, Odin, you're an ex excellent cameraman. <laughs> Hi, Autumn Bruno. That yummy hay? I like the hay from that other place that's further away, huh? I really like this Bermuda. They eat the other one, they tolerate it, but they gobble this up like it's alfalfa. Just from a different store. I don't understand. Goats are so weird. And picky. Picky eaters. I don't care what anybody says. They do not eat tin cans. They are picky, picky eaters. important things to keep in mind with your goat shelter or other livestock is that you want to keep them dry and draft free. They don't have to be warm. They don't need heat lamps. They don't need heaters. They don't need blankets. They just need to be dry and draft free. And they're going to stay completely cozy with their warm winter coats that they're growing in. Just look at the fluff. You see how their coats are so much thicker than... <laughs> You're not going to let me see. Look at that. Look at her fluffy coat. It's so different than usual. You like having a nice new coat to grow in, huh? It's fun being outside. See, look, she looks like she's got these cheeks. Oh, yes, yes, she likes that. My baby girl likes that. <coughs> what? Rosemary and Shady want some love, too. Oh, what a surprise. My friendly sweet girls. Nice fur coats. So with combined gifts from different people, we have been able to winterize our shelter. We'll be able to fill in in between the pallets with some feed bags. But uh, for today, they kind of need the airflow because it's still pretty warm. So this will be something that we'll be able to stuff for the winter and then take the stuffing out for the summer and allow more ventilation. Look, Rosemary. Come here, let's show everyone. See, look at that. She's got the cashmere undercoat coming in. Look at that. Isn't that cool? So cool. 
don't know if you can see it, but it's like the gray soft undercoat. That's her winter. Yes, Rosemary. That's gonna keep you warm all winter. Speaking of winter, it's starting to get a little chilly out here. Can we go and have a cup of warm coffee? That sounds delightful. And maybe a piece of leftover pie. That sounds even better. <laughs> I have eaten pumpkin pie for breakfast two days in a row now. And it's delightful. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you guys had an awesome Thanksgiving and we are so grateful to all of our friends who have supported us with these awesome um, housewarming gifts to make our goats warm and cozy and our quail sheltered for this coming storm. Thanks for watching. You know the trail. See you next time on Holston.